Well, good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Low Def Media. I'm Mike and I'll be your host this evening, afternoon, whatever. Anyway, so what's it, what's today about? Sitting out here on the back porch, I don't think I've done this yet with the Fuji XS10. I know I've done outside vlog entries with the GoPro, I've probably done that with the iPhone, maybe even uh, the Fuji XP90, I think I did that once, uh, but I don't think I've done it with the XS10. And uh, I've got an ND filter on. Interestingly enough, this is an ND filter that's designed for the GoPro. It goes into a plastic case that clips onto the GoPro. Very handy. Uh, it fits right on this kit lens, the 18 to 55 kit lens. Actually, I think I think this one. Hold on, just a second. I think this is a different one. This one is, yeah, 18-55. It's the Fuji um, XA5 that has the 15 to 45. That's the one I was thinking of. And every time I touch this table, it bounces. Hopefully that internal stabilization is helping us out. All right, so what are we talking about? Oh, I don't have anything to talk about today. The only thing I wanted to do was test out this particular camera outside, natural light, uh, using the internal microphone, no external mic setup, uh, with an ND filter. I've got it set to, it looks like, 400 ISO. I've got the uh, shutter speed at 1 50th to match my 24 frames a second. Uh, 24 frames per second, yeah. Uh, shooting speed. So right now, and I do have it on one of the pro built-in profiles. Uh, I'll let you know up here uh, which one that is because I can never remember them. Uh, it's the one that starts with an E and it's a uh, cinema. So I figured that was good for film. So this particular camera, I, I was very excited about it when I first bought it. And I have a slight confession to make. I was very excited about the 4K capability and all the rave reviews that I saw on, online. Then I got it home and realized that it only shoots 4K 24 and 4K 30. Does not shoot 4K 60 for slow-mo. If you want any kind of slow motion, you've got to go to the 1080, which you know, by itself isn't horrible, but I was really hoping for some 4K slow-mo footage. And secondly, the other thing that is somewhat troubling is my Mac, I've got a MacBook Pro, it's a 2018 model, um, trying to get it to process 4K video, it's been a challenge. The other day, I, um, I downloaded, well I didn't download, I transferred some footage from it was either this camera or my, um, it may have even been my GoPro. I think it was this camera. Because uh, this is the, my primary 4K shooter. And so I transferred some footage and it was a little bit longer, kind of like what today's going to be. It was a couple minutes, maybe three or four minutes long. And I swear, my computer, I thought it was going to melt trying to process this 4K footage. Now it wasn't slow motion, it wasn't 60 frames a second, it was either 24 or 30, so it should have been manageable, but it took a long time. And I can remember using Filmora, I used the trial version of Filmora, and it's notorious for being slow in rendering and processing. So I'm very concerned having purchased this camera, and the primary reason is because I plan on doing more videography with it and I want it to look more high-end so I'm concerned with how I'm gonna process it now I, I do have a friend who's got a newer Mac and has uh, higher-end software I think they have Premiere Pro so I, I might be able to skirt by but I I am kinda concerned I gotta be honest so for anyone out there all three or four of you who should end up watching this video, do me a favor, let me know what might be a good workaround 
for getting this 4K footage processed. Now I know, I know, that when I put this up on YouTube, it's gonna go to 1080. I already know this. But that said, I still have to process it on my end and make all the edits and color grading and add all the, the cool graphics and stuff. So I know this. So I am concerned. So if you know of anything, if there are any workarounds or any tricks or hacks, let me know in the comments below. And if you're kind of a newbie like me and you're getting value out of these uh, review videos and, and some of these vlog entries that I do, hey, you know, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and you know, be a subscriber. That would really help out the channel. Uh, so that's really all I had for today. Just really still trying to nail down these settings on this camera and um, trying to get better at editing this 4K footage. So with that in mind, nothing else really going on today. I've got to get some grocery shopping done, so that's one thing i got to get, do get uh, doing. So hope you have a great weekend. It is Friday. Take care of yourself out there, and we will see you in the next one. Hey, well, good afternoon there, and welcome to another vlog entry. Hey, this time I am on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, just kind of taking a trip around the house. Don't mind my clutter. I've got to do some grocery shopping, and you know what? When grabbing your wallet and list that your wifey made you, it's always good to vlog about it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and fold this with one hand, shove it in the old pocket, take care of the spectacles, and then head out the door. So uh, got to do some quick shopping. Gonna leave El Doggo here to uh, you know guard the house. Might grab some food while I'm out. Never know. Might even take a picture of it with the old GoPro. Oh, got to get keys. How's that low light performance? How's that audio? All things that you have no idea if they're good or bad until you play it back, because, you know, it's a GoPro. All right, I'm about to step outside, so we will catch up with you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back home, got all the shopping done, but I've got two quick points that I want to make before I forget. I'm old and I will forget, and these were two things that one frustrated me and two made me extremely curious okay so number one so i go to kroger i go get go get into go to kroger and i'm in the produce section and i'm trying to just grab a couple pieces of produce i needed a cucumber an onion and i think it was a red pepper okay so nothing very intricate but i could not get more than halfway into the produce section because of all of the Kroger shoppers, not people like me, but employees who are shopping for other people who had ordered online or uh, for delivery or were gonna pick it up and you know just drive up and, and pick up their groceries. So because of that backlog, I had to like circumnavigate the produce section to get the produce that I, there was no less than three of those guys and they have those ginormous carts. So that kind of irritated me. Then I, I get my shopping done. Finding pimentos, by the way, was extremely challenging. They're not with the olives and you would think they would be because pimentos are in olives. At least I think they are. Anyway, so I get my shopping done and I say, you know what, I'm gonna go to the, and I think they it's right by the deli and it's, um, I don't know what they call it, but there you got the deli, then you've got the place where they um, have the pizzas, and then you've got the Asian counter where you can get uh, rice, uh, fried rice, and noodles, and chicken, and all that kind of stuff. So I go over there. I'm gonna get some ref oh, not refried. It's uh, some fried rice and chicken. Okay. On my way there, this is a super a uh, Kroger, not a super Walmart, but a super Kroger. And they've got a wine bar. And every time I go into Kroger, regardless of what time or what day, every time there are people at the Kroger bar. The only time I take that, the only time I haven't seen people there, when it was closed because of COVID. But now that everything in Georgia is pretty much open, 
Once again, 5.30 in the afternoon, no less than four people sitting at the Kroger wine bar. Of all the places to go to get a drink, are you really gonna go to the grocery store? That just, it it's curiosity more than anything. I don't understand it. If, if you see something similar where you're from, hey, hit me up in the comments below, let me know. That, that just, it always strikes me as odd. All right, I'll let you get back to your regularly scheduled program. Have a great one. We'll see you in the next one.